I've had this nice old pipe wrench for obviously with my last lot of tools I've been thinking about doing it restoring it up but the issue has been um, cleaning in there that's been the issue so uh, the other day I thought, I thought well I'll put it in some vinegar and see I've got a little brush and I tried it and it wasn't very good anyway I was looking round and I know I've bought some couldn't find them those so we've got that cleaned up and the holes done so I thought just um, for this it won't take very long we'll just uh, give this a, a clean up well if I stand to the side as last time I think you can see a bit long enough just to show you the difference see the bit I've done and the bit I, bit I haven't done see oh, you can easily see can't you right so I'll finish this off I've got the wire brush out I'll just uh, brush up one of these name plates well that's come up pretty good hasn't it especially that side been here enough I think I might have a, another go See if, we, see if we can do one I haven't done one yet with raised letters have I I'll just have a go and see we'll put the wrench together and we'll call it done it can go anywhere but uh, I'll put it that way around I don't think it matters and uh, that nut wants to go on like that I think it's got a slight Notch on the nut. It was. It does screw on, but it was just a bit. Could have done. I ain't got one. It's a die nut, really. But anyway, it'll hold it in place, won't it? That's all it's got to do. There. I think that's come up pretty good, to be honest. It does. And just in case you're wondering, there's a name on it, and it's called. Fitchit, right? And it's on there, isn't it? So, I'm the right way up for you this time. I can hold that still enough for you to see. There's a name on there. I've just had a look. Is that the right way up? Yeah, that's the right way up. There, if you can see it. Not very good to see on this top, is it? There we are. So, I'd, it's not a make I've heard of, I've never, never used these actually, never had need of them, but they're in, I will just show you something by the way, before we switch over to something else. Um, look, they're in pretty good condition aren't they, and especially on the top, as you can see, you know, that's why I like these, and they're what, you can see how long they are, if I stand back a bit. And I've managed to cut some letters out. Whether this will work or not, I don't know. But it's, we're only playing, are we? I've managed to cut some letters out. Not very good. And stick on. So I'm going to see if we can etch this the other way around. I'm doing it just the same as last time. On this hammer. And that. But because I'm doing the outside, I'll be a little bit careful. Because when it gets hot, the uh, tape is moving the letters so uh, not going to be very deep not worried about that this time so as I say I've done it just the same salt water and the pads and that way see so there you go. Now we'll let that cool 
and then we'll just have a look and see if we can see the letters at all. Well, it's not the best etching to see, but you can actually just see the letters, and that's what I was after. So what I'll do now, I'll just give it a light wire brush and polish, and we'll have a look and finish off, eh? Well, despite my scepticism, because I see one of the... It melted the tape in one point, but look, that's come pretty good. I'm quite pleased with that. Yeah. Better than I expected, that is. Right. So, what with that, and done the me impossible pipe wrench that I, I've been wanting to do for a long while. I think we can call this a successful afternoon, eh? <laughs> oh. Anyway, you've seen all this before, but they're all right, aren't they? You know, better than doing nothing. I think you'll agree with me. I think you'll agree with me. That it's better than sitting down doing nothing, isn't it? So, there you go.